السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم interpretation of surah al duha surah 93 of the quran did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forsake the prophet muhammad the answer is no he never forsake him because some pagans said your god your god hated you your god forsake you has forsaken you and then revelation lasted for several you know days or weeks after that revelation came down with this surah let's see this surah inshallah shortly what does this surah say uh, to the prophet muhammad sallallahu what did allah gave to the prophet muhammad sallallahu as bounties and uh, uh, as reward in the hereafter let's answer these questions inshallah from surah al duha recite for you inshallah surah al duha please share the video recite for you inshallah sorry i recite for you inshallah surah al duha and uh, then uh, interpret it <clears throat> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث <coughs> this is the surah, surah 93, surah al duha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, by the forenoon, the time after sunrise, very blessed time, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the right to, uh, to swear with other things, with his creatures, with his creation, but we don't have the right to do that, it's minor shirk. This is a response to a poem which says, وَأَقْسَمْتُ بِالْقَمَرِ الْمُنْشَقِّ by uh, Imam Bouissiri. There are eight shirki um, uh, poems in, uh, in, the, uh, in the poem of uh, Bouissiri. Uh, it's a praise in the Prophet Muhammad that that, that uh, poem. Like أَقْسَمْتُ بِالْقَمَرِ He swears by the split moon. We don't have the right to, spl to, uh, to swear by uh, Allah's uh, creation only with Allah. If you are to swear, swear only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah has the right. He swore by the life of Prophet Muhammad He swears by he, he swears by the time, by the moon, by the stars. He has the right to do that because He created them alone and He has the to, uh, right to do that. But we don't have the right to do that. By the forenoon, Duha, time after sunrise, very blessed time. Muslims pray optional two rakats, four rakats in this time, from like from eight o'clock in the morning to eleven o'clock. You pray, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because we have we have reward for that. But Prophet Muhammad said to the Sahaba, Allah gave you uh, some 360 joints, and this is by the way, scientific miracle. 360 joints in our body one of the websites they count it's 360 joints you have to thank Allah for them they said oh prophet how can we thank Allah he said we have you have to give to give for example uh, one dollar for for each for example for each joint they said it's too much they said okay give us alternative he said pray at duha pray, pray two rakats four rakats before noon before noon and it's a recompense inshallah do you do that Let's start inshallah from today and be thankful to Allah. What duha? Well, layli ida saja. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ad Duha, Surah 93, by the night when it darkens. Well, you know why? Oh, all evils happen at night. You know, drunk cards, evil people, people with swords, etc. The, 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 the bagabun, they happen there. 
but the best time is after you know sunrise and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the right to swear by it. By the night when it darkens, who gave you this light and who gave you this, this darkness? It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine you go to Siberia, to Alaska and you have like six months without daylight or six months without... Where, are you thankful to Allah? Are you thankful to Allah in love? So be thankful to Allah that gave you the night and the day and they rotate, they revolve. As people who say the, the, the earth is not, is not sphere. It is sphere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, he rotates, he revolves, he rotates the night over the day and the day over the night. And the globe is not a disc as in the Bible, the globe is sphere. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ar-Rahman, the, 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 uh, the earth has a diameter. It says by Aqtari Samawati Wal Ard. Very clear in the Quran. It's sphere. Uh, not by the way not 100% circle it's oval because we have the four seasons islam is logic by the night when it darkens allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never forsaken you o prophet you are the beloved of allah you are the, the one that is loved by Allah, number one. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam is number one in humanity. Go Google it. You find, for example, Michael Hart puts Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam number one. His Sharia won a prize by the uh, U.S. Parliament in 1935. The Sharia of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam that some of people are against has won, has won what? The best prizes in the world. Wow, mashallah. Are you sure? Yes. The, the New York Times has posted this. Go Google it. Sharia of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam won the best prizes. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I come back to the point, inshallah. Not like the biblical Jesus. Why you have forsaken me? God does not need another God. Why you have forsaken me? God does not need another God to pray for him. In the, in the Bible, Moses and Jesus and David, they prostrated exactly like Muslims do it because they are Muslims and we have proof. And this is from the Bible, by the way. Now, Jesus, by, when we say Jesus, we say biblical Jesus because Islamic Jesus is not like the biblical Jesus. Islamic Jesus is Isa. Isa never, was never forsaken by Allah. In the Quran, it says that Allah, Allah saved him from, and it, they, they resembled him. And yes, in the Bible too, you have the proof there. If, you, if only you follow your Bible, you will find Islam. Because it says in the Bible that uh, it was portrayed for them that it was Jesus, but it was not Jesus. Roman emperor killed God. No, that's not baby God to be killed. You know, by the way, there is a meme which says that, you know, biblical Jesus went to his mom and he said, Mom, Paul told me that I am your God, Mom. She said, go, go away. You don't even, you know, this is <laughs> funny. You don't even know how to wear your pampers. Are you God? God does not, does not know how to wear pampers. One of the Christians, he told me that, that you know what? God you know, was a baby. And, he, and, he, and this is paradoxical. God is God. So, Powerful, not powerful in the Bible. Um, uh, super uh, knowing, not knowing. He didn't know. He didn't know when the fig tree implants tree, um, f fruits. If you ask me, for example, I would win, <laughs> and I'm proud of it. I ate milk. I ate my mother's milk, and I am I am rough. And <laughs> by the way, and I know I know the Bedouin, and I know better than G the biblical Jesus. The figs implant implant fruits in summer, and not in winter. By the way. I know better than Biblical Jesus, but Isa was not that. Biblical Jesus, God, he doesn't know when the, when the fig... Uh, I, I, don't, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't, you know, uh, shift from the topic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Duha, Allah has not forsaken you. Allah has not forsaken you because some pagan, the revelation lasted for some several weeks. And the pagans, especially the, the wife of Abu Lahab, by the way, there is no, my family, this is my relative, no, no, no. The, 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 the parents of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died, Mushrikun, and they are in hell. I shouldn't talk on this, because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is harmed when we talk on this. Uh, he, he doesn't like this, by the way. He, he cried when they asked him, uh, you, he said, my, my, my father and your father is in hell. He told this to, to a man. There is no miscompromise in Islam. Only Tawheed, monotheism. 
you are not monotheist, even you are the daughter, uh, even you are what Fatima work. He said to Fatima work, I will not benefit you anything on, on the day of judgment. Some uh, sects, they say, we are the chosen of Allah. We know why, I, I, we ask them why, because we are the descendants of, of Prophet. That will not help you anything. Work. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Abu Lahab, work. He said to Fatima, work. He said to his aunt, work. I will not benefit you anything on, on the day of judgment. This is Tawheed. This is monotheism. Not that I am the son of the preach, uh, of, the, of the priest. I am the descendant of Prophet. No, no, no. That We don't have that in Islam. Um, Arwa, who is the wife of the uncle of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's, uh, she said to him, your Satan, she means God, between parentheses. He said, your Satan has forsaken you. No revelation coming down on you. And by the way, my students earlier at school, they asked me, they said, they said please, uh, preacher, you are English teacher, but let, uh, because you have a beard and maybe you know this. I said, yes, I answer questions. Just go ahead, ask me. They said, they said, why prophet because our islamic studies teacher asked us this question and we don't know the answer i said to them just ask let me let me see he said why god made prophet muhammad as illiterate ah i said i give you the answer he made him as illiterate because if he was literate they would say ah the quran he wrote down the quran or he took it from the christians but nay his illiteracy is a miracle because what because you know what happened in a treaty uh, the Mushrikun, they said, they said, we don't believe that you are prophet. Because in the, in the treaties, well, it was written in the name of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, Messenger of Allah. One of, one of the, the Mushrikun, the pagan, he said, no, no, no. We don't believe that you are a prophet. Remove that. He said to Ali or Abu Bakr, he said, please remove that. Muhammad is Rasulullah. <laughs> Abu Bakr said, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Wallahi, I can't delete your name. I love you. I love you, O oh Prophet. How can I delete your name? You know, they were very respectful to the Prophet. Prophet understand that. It's not that they were reluctant. No, he couldn't. He loves Prophet. How can he delete his name? And then he said to Abu Bakr or Ali in the narration, he said, please show me where my name is. Allahu Akbar. Prophet Muhammad does not know where his name is. Allahu Akbar. And he teaches the scientists. And he came with the scientific miracles. And he taught humanity how, how to, to even clean themselves from economy to, astro, to, sorry, to astronomy. And, and he, 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 I mean that, that's, he brought all this civilization. Was that by himself? No. I said to my students, if, he know, if he's literate, they will say, ah, he writes the Quran. He writes down the Quran. But nay, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel teaches him. So... His illiteracy is a miracle for himself and is honor because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He praises and this illiterate prophet. It's a praise for him. But for us, if we are illiterate, it's a defect. So be mindful of this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then sent down this ayat, said to, he said to, to the pagans, Allah subhanahu, he said to Prophet Muhammad subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never, has never ever forsaken you. That's for a purpose. And what Allah will shall give you in the hereafter is better for you than the first, this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in Quran, in Quran, it says that he gave him Al-Kawthar. You know, one of the last short ayats in Quran, give him Al-Kawthar. Do you know what is Al-Kawthar? Al-Kawthar, by the way, some of our, our females are named Al-Kawthar. Beautiful name. Al-Kawthar is a river in, in paradise for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, the innovators who innovated in Islam, invocations, you know, like collective invo invocations, like, you know, uh, things that are not uh, from Islam. Some people, you know, reject the hadith. Some people things like this. People who reject the Sahih Hadith, you give him Sahih Hadith, they do not, you know, accept it. Okay. They will come to drink from this water of, the, of, of his river. If they drink, they will never become thirsty after that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a, 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 a mouthful drink from his uh, both honored hands. Say Ameen. After you drink from his river, from the river of Prophet Muhammad, you will never become thirsty after that. Allahu Akbar. Only the people who follow his sunnah, they will drink from it. How about the people, the, the mubtadi'un, the, the, oh, how about the mubtadi'un, shall they, shall they, for example, shall they drink from it? The answer is no. They shall never drink from his river and angels will cast them away. Um, they were, they asked Prophet Muhammad, how do you know them? How do you know that, that they are, they are, 
How do you know that, that they are the, uh, the innovators? And how do you know the Sunni ones? He said, he said, I know you from the color of your face. Here, and the hands, and the, the knees, and the, the feet, the places uh, of wudu, where you, they are shining from where you, you washed your, your, el, your, your arms, your face. They are shining, and I know, I know you that, by that, that you followed my sunnah. Ameen, ya akhi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us uh, his, uh, to, to uh, grant us the ability and the capaci capacity to follow his path and not the innovations. So, this river on its banks are tents, very huge tents. And the, in, inside these tents, there are peels, hollow peels and diamonds. Allahu Akbar. What shall Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give his prophet? If you have only one diamond in this dunya, the, the, your offspring and the, the, your generation, the generation of your generation, the offspring of your offspring, and non-stop they will live, you know, without having, you know, without, without applying for a job. Allah Akbar, very rich. How about the akhirah? If you have only one diamond, and, and these tents are full of diamonds, and they are gifts for the ummah, subhanAllah, and for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa your Prophet has, uh, Allah, your Allah has never forsaken you. And has never and hated you. So it's an answer to Arwa, who Arwa Ummu Jamil. And that one who was slandering the Prophet. And who was putting thistles and rocks in his way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed her and cursed him, uh, the, her, her uh, husband, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know why? Because they were putting stumbling stones in his way. Tabbat yada Abi Lahab, cursed is he and his hands. He will enter to hell and, and one of the signs of prophethood is that this man never became Muslim. Because an ayah came down and okay, it's a seal on his heart. Okay. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches his prophet that you should uh, follow the akhirah and you should seek for the akhirah and the dunya is, is not prominent. The dunya is provisional. So, what did the Prophet do? He said to the Sahaba, and he, one day he was sleeping on a mat, and when he, uh, he got up, uh, there were marks on his body, uh, left, uh, leftovers, uh, so, sorry, not leftovers, the, the marks left on his body because of the mat. The mat was solid. And they said to him, why don't you tell us, just order us, and we will uh, prepare for you a soft bedding, ya, ya, ya Prophet of Allah. He said, no, I don't need that. I'm here in this dunya just, you know, like someone on a bridge. <laughs> can someone dwell on a bridge? That one is foolish. No one can dwell on a, on, a, on, a, on a bridge. I am like a man who is standing under the shade of a tree. One hour and then I will go. This is the life. You should, you should. And the proverb, the hikmah, the wisdom says, live in this dunya like you live forever. And live for the akhirah like you, live, like you die tomorrow. Very golden rule. Live for this dunya like you, you will never die. Okay, go, go in the land, build uh, buildings, uh, make projects. The, the, the dunya is not haram. The, the uh, prof, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad says, Ni'mal malu salih li rajul salih. Good is the money, uh, the, the good money, the halal money for, for, the, for, for the pious person. You know what? Because he will destroy it in the, in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the, because we posted on Ask a Muslim that the co-founder of YouTube is Muslim. It's called Jawad. By the way, this is new, <laughs> new information. Jawad is from Bangladesh. He's, ba Bangl he's from Bangladesh. He is the co-founder. He he worked for for uh, PayPal, and then he were he was the co-founder of YouTube. And you 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 need to tell to people that the founder of YouTube is Muslim, <laughs> and they will laugh. Why don't you? Why do you laugh? All this technology is brought by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was a coup in the whole universe, and Allah subhanahu wa taala says to Prophet Muhammad, sallam, "Look in the land, uh, you know, travel in the land. Look at the camel, how they are created. Look at the." It was not the case way back at his at his time. At his time, people used to believe that uh, that the sky has pillars, like you know, in the Bible. No, that's not the case. The Quran says sky does not have pillars. And the Quran always, you know, uh, opens your eye to signs. There is, there is a correlation between science and Quran. And you know the, the algorithm, you know the, the, the algebra, who brought you the numbers one, two, three, who was the first to invent, you know, the first university, it's Fatima Firia in my country, in Fez. So you see, <laughs> so it's a stanza. Uh, the, fir the first ever to, to the, and then they uh, wrote, the Muslims in Andalusia, they wrote the book of Ma'rifah, Kitab al-Ma'rifah, the book of knowledge, and it was stolen from them. 
And there, you know, from there, there was the renaissance in Europe and they took everything from Muslim and now they give us, they give us back, you know, our product. Our product is given back to us. Don't be, you know, deluded. This is our, and in one of the, as we posted on Ask a Muslim, in one of the documentaries that 1001, 1001 inventions were, were stolen from the, the Muslims. It is a German documentary. Anyway, go back to the topic. Allah has never forsaken you and has never hated you. Right? Not like in the Bible, uh, Jesus says, why you have forsaken me? If Jesus was God, he, he would, you know, how can he pray to another God? God does not need another God. And the hereafter is better for you for, uh, than the first, than the dunya. Also, Gabriel gave Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said, do you like me to give you the case of the treasures of the, of, of the globe and you will have gold, you have diamonds, you will live like a, better than all kings? Prophet Muhammad said, no, I will be satisfied one day, I eat one day and be satisfied and another day, and another day I will, uh, I will, like, I will, I will be hungry and be patient. This is the believer, by the way, dunya, money, uh, you can own as much money as you like. And this, uh, this, this person said to me that this Jawed, who is the co-founder of YouTube, he just, he's just the monger of money, he seeks for money. I said to him, Ni'mal malu salih li rajul salih. Uh, good is the money, the, the halal money for the good believer. He will uh, do like uh, Ali Banat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. So why, why do you uh, oppose this? Right. And uh, then Prophet uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالضُّحَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبَّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَا سَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala verily shall, shall give you so much until you become pleasant. He give you the kawthar. He give you, I give you a hadith, a hadith uh, which says, that uh, it's narrated by uh, Sheikh Kishk. I think it's, uh, it's not authentic, it's weak, but the meaning is correct. Right. An angel said to Allah, give me so many uh, wings, I will rotate around your throne. Right. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that you cannot do that. My throne is, 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 the, is the biggest creation ever. He said, I will try. He gave them that. And he, uh, you know, he lasted for years and years, <laughs> for years and years, you know, trying to rotate around what? Around the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the arsh. After several years, he was tired. Angels get together and join. And you know, he told, he told the, the, the angel, well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you so tired? He said, I, I asked Allah something which I shouldn't ask. I asked him such and such and such. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told those angels, you know what? That angel ha has, only, has only crossed a short portion, a very tiny portion of the property of Abu Bakr in Jannah. Allahu Akbar. He has, you know, <laughs> flied for years and years. And in the end, he was tired. He wants to rotate around the, the arsh of Allah. This is the arsh. How about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The biggest. The biggest. You know, we shouldn't say, I am the greatest. I am the biggest. The greatest is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with capital G. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you until you are pleasant. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, interpretation in English, by the way, I prescribe Taqiyyud uh, Din Hilali and Muhsin Khan, the best for me, as I said, in uh, the interpretation of Surat Al-Wallah, Surat Al-Ikhlas. He said, Alam yajidka, Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa. You are afraid that Allah forsaken you or hated you, never. Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa. Has Allah, hasn't, uh, hasn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found you Found you orphan and he gave you refuge. He was orphan. He's, he never saw his dad. His father died before, you know, even he, he was uh, uh, aware. And then his mom died at six years. He's six years old. And after that, he's, uh, <clears throat> he was initially, you know, uh, brought up by his uh, grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. After that, after that, uh, his mom, after that, uh, uh, you know, Amina, the Halima Sa'diya, after that, 
uh, his ankle so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ca catered for him cared for him and he gave him he gave him what he gave him refuge so thank thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of this Allah subhanahu wa says to, to Prophet Muhammad he found you unaware unaware of the Quran unaware of the path of Allah and you were you know you were spending three nights in the Jabal An-Nur which is in Mecca and inside it is the Ghar Hira and by the way why such people go to the pilgrims or whatever or whomever sorry go to that mountain which is very high some 600 feet above and many have had accident there why to go to where prophet used to ponder come on some scholars consider that from the innovations it's very dangerous yes prophet muhammad was the bravest of men he was strong and not you you go there and it's very cliff and stiffy and cliff and you can fall from there allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not prescribed on us to go to such places touristic i mean if you want to, to do that tourism, go another, another time. But not in necessarily in pilgrimage time. Says the opportunity. One salah is 100 salah for us. If you go to, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yes, 100,000. If you go to Medina, 1,000 1, salah. It equals 1,000 salah in the other areas of the world. So why you, you, um, you don't say this opportunity, you, you lose these opportunities. And you go to such and such place, you go to uh, the hotel, the motel and hotel of Abu Dawood and try and, you know, and be heedless and don't be heedless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He guided you to this. It's your opportunity. Maybe you go there once per life and then you go and yes, in Mecca, everything is there. All the products of the world come to Mecca because it's a blessed place. But do not be heedless of that. Say so the opportunity and pray and do much prayer. It's your uh, your opportunity of life why you know you know uh, wasting time going here and there just for tourism if you want tourism go another another time <laughs> that's it and uh, didn't didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala find you uh, poor and he made you rich made you rich in the heart I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he means the, the richness of the heart the self-contentment self-sufficient the heart is poor unless it shines it's dark it's dark like this room if we don't it, once you 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 click on the lights once you click on the I, I, this is a message to the to the, the muslim the new the non-muslims who are close to islam because they are categories some are far from islam some hate islam because of the misconceptions some are very very close some are are, are muslims already they have ever except the shahad i'm talking to these people i mean your heart is like this room it's very dark and it needs only one click one press on the button on the on the on the plug on the plug and then the light shines don't waste this opportunity you we are talking to such people subhanallah we are talking to them every day you only need to say the shahada and subhanallah don't deprive yourself don't deprive yourself of this uh, opportunity to gain the reward to gain the reward because your book of deed is closed once you say the shahada is open mashallah and then you gain rewards and feel your paradise as uh, allah gave to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi because he never ceased he never ceased to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay so uh, my message to such not muslims who are who love islam and they are already muslim they are, everyone is born muslim by the way but his mom his dad may make him jewish make him christian as in the in the hadith everyone is born on the is instinct but the, their parents you know they they uh, they uh, turn them to uh, deviation to non muslims or you know brought up a christian and and yes i don't believe jesus is god i don't believe in paul paul deceived christians and and he's against jesus teaching but, but but what are you waiting for it's your opportunity just click on the on the button and, and the heart will shine and then you will start your journey towards Allah because now you have no link with Allah you just know Allah you love Allah but you need what you need five times praying a day and then this is the start of your journey towards Allah because in Salah it's the link you are not like a cell phone valueless with no Wi-Fi we know 5G or 6G or whatever G is there a 6G I don't know. We just have here 4G and maybe 5G. Uh, <laughs> so you are, even if you, the cell phone is, is brand new and the latest, the latest model and, and, and product, but 
without without connection is valueless so you your islam is based on the most important pillar which is salah salah is the most important pillar of this tent of islam of this house if you have a tent sometimes a tent is like this uh, uh, you know <clears throat> triangle and it has only one pillar and if you remove this pillar what happens <laughs> by the way you still remain a muslim but you know you know what sinner because salah is a, a must obligatory Therefore, you have no excuse, and uh, we, uh, we showed you the, the path. If you die like that, we don't assure you that you will go to a paradise. Maybe you, will be test Maybe you won't be tested on the hereafter because you know it all. The people who will be tested are non-Muslim and will be tested. Th those people who received only misconceptions, they don't know about Islam, and they received false infos about Islam, those people will be tested. But how about you? You are in danger, you know everything, and you didn't accept. Wallahi, your case is like the case of, uh, of uh, Abu Talib, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad Did you, Do you know what happened to him? He was, you know, like defending the Prophet. He knows everything about Islam. Your case is, is like Abu Talib. The, I'm talking to the, the non-Muslims who are very close to Islam. Your case is like Abu Talib who knew, knew, knew it all. But he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, didn't, didn't excuse his sin. He loved Prophet, he protected him from the mushrikun. Wallahi, he loved him so much. They wanted to kill. If, if, if it wasn't him, after Allah, they would have. If it hadn't been him, this is conditional type 3, by the way. If it hadn't been him, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would have killed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, had plus past participle and would have past part participle. Because it's the, uh, con the unreal conditional type 3. Okay. Some may interpret that Prophet Muhammad was, was misguided. He never, he never prostituted to an idol. He rejected all what his people were doing, the pagans. And he was pondering in the Ghar Hira. Uh, Abu Darda says that pondering one hour is better than 70, uh, sorry, is better than one year of, one year of worship. So one year of worship equals one hour of pondering in the ayah. Uh, go to NASA, for example, .com. Go to the scientific uh, websites and look at the galaxies, how they, they look. Look at the flower. The flower of the... Some, some galaxies are like flowers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, He decorated the first heaven. Only the, they, are, they just see the, they seen the first heaven. <laughs> they haven't seen the second, the third, the fourth. Very, very far, far from here. He decorated the first heaven with lights and lumps. Look at the lumps and the lights of the universe. Look at the galaxies. Look at how Allah, because Allah subhanahu wa says in Quran, uh, The creation of the universe and the creation of the globe is, is even, is way more better in pondering, if you want to ponder, than, than the creation of man. ما ودعك ربك وما قال والآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى has he not found you an orphan and he gave you refuge? So thank Allah for this. Has he not, hasn't he, uh, didn't he find you or hasn't he found, found, find you, hasn't he uh, fi found you uh, a, a, unaware, unconscious of truth of Islam and he uh, showed it to you. And he guided too. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَلَمْ يَجِدْ قَالَ لَنْفَاوَدِكَ عَيْنِ فَغَلَ فَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرُ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرُ وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ And as for the beggars, because hasn't he found you poor and he made you rich in heart, in money, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him all the treasures of the other nations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him rich. He was poor and he was rich, both. Rich in the heart, rich in money. That's, that's, the, that's the way to provision. The way to provision, and provision is not only money, al-mal, not al-mal, it's, it's very general. If you want provision, uh, think of Allah, uh, ponder uh, over, over the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't ponder over, over, over Him, think of the, His creation, because you'll never know how He is. The how, the manner, the how, no one knows, no one has seen Him, even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa on the night of Isra al-Mi'raj, because Aisha in Sahih Muslim, she asked him, have you seen your Prophet? He said, I saw light, uh, I saw something great, but I never saw my God. If someone says, I saw my God, it means he said something great and something monkar, some azim. He said something, I mean, huge. Uh, this is a lie. I didn't see my God, the face. Okay? 
So, أما اليتيمة فلا تقهر. Sometimes a beggar comes to you and say, please, please. You say, yeah, go away. Don't say that. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala teaches Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu these manners. Don't uh, repulse the beggar. أما اليتيمة فلا تقهر. أما السائل فلا تنهر. وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث. As to the bounties of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the general bounties, Islam. Allah gave me eyes. Allah gave me ears. Alhamdulillah. Allah gave me children. But do not say that in front of the those who are deprived of those bounties. By the way. Because they will have evil eye on you. Evil eye is truth. <laughs> and in hadith it says it's evil eye exists. Uh, uh, as for the orphan, the beggar, uh, Al-Imam Ibn Kathir uh, or Qatada says, Be to the orphan as a merciful father. Be to the orphan as a merciful father and do not repress the beggar. <coughs> uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him rich by heading towards are very uh, uh, generous and they welcomed him and so on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him so if uh, this surah teaches us the morals that be patient Allah and the the, 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 the inshallah <clears throat> the light is, is approaching near just be patient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you triumph will give you a way out just don't panic there is there is a way out just be don't be heedless of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just be mindful of him this is inshallah this is the surah i don't want to uh, prolong it more this is all what the uh, the, uh, the tafsir ibn kathir and qurtubi say about this surah alhamdulillah salatu salam ala rasulillah we learned that uh, if, if from this surah that Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never forsaken uh, his prophets nor Jesus nor uh, Dawood, David nor Solomon nor Adam nor Prophet Muhammad and that Allah does not for, forsake his, uh, his prophet or unlike what is in the Bible that uh, their God you know forsook uh, his baby God who become uh, pregnant from Mary and then he went to, uh, to uh, his mom he said that Paul told me that you should worship me. She told him, uh, you, should, uh, you don't know even how to wear your pampers. How come you become God? Sorry to say this. It's not, it's not funny. It's serious. It's serious. How come? Because a Christian told me this. He told me that, you know what? Uh, God uh, was a baby and then he became weak and then he died. And Okay, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that these people are misled, are the, the ones who went astray. I repeat, inshallah. Uh, reciting this uh, very beautiful uh, surah which teaches us many morals many uh, things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, just just um, <clears throat> okay worship Allah he will protect you worship Allah he will be there in dire situations if you know Allah in uh, in uh, lax situation he will know you in dire situations otherwise the opposite you know two people uh, the, when they uh, when they shouted, "Oh Allah, Oh Allah, Oh Allah!" or they 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 resorted to Allah, they were tyrants before the malaika. They said, the angel said, oh, we don't know this voice. <laughs> they never called Allah. They never invoked Allah. Allah said, "Okay, do, do not do not do not help them." You know who? Pharaoh, <laughs> Pharaoh, Pharaoh. When he called God, you know, in his diaries when he was drowning. But Jonah, yes. When Jonah and the Prophet Muhammad when he was in, in the Ghar Thawr with yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah who is with us and Moses the, the Ma'iyya is with him. So be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you. I mean worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in uh, in uh, in easiness and when you are at you know uh, lax situations when you when you are in uh, good uh, I mean, th that's when you know a believer because we, when you think of Allah in, uh, and you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in easiness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, help you in dire situations. Uh, it's not a hadith, by the way. As you do, you will be done. Alhamdulillah, salatu salam ala I finish by reciting the surah as I promised you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى 
ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Thank you very much Please share the video Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I love you for the sake of Allah